guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Uh, don't worry, Squishy. This guy can't hurt us. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's crazy, man. These things can fly around you forever and not really hurt you as the Quetzal. Like they get an initial attack on you, but then they start doing some stupid stuff, like just going around and around in circles, and nothing really happens. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Squishy, don't taunt him, baby. He might turn around and breathe fire on us. I was out here looking for some gray berries, and I figured I was so close to leveling up that I should probably tune in right away because I just hit level 70, y'all. 70. That's huge. I mean, enormous. It's it's crazy. I'm 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 thrilled to death about it. Um let's do we already have 50 fortitude, 300 health. I think maybe a little bit more health might do good. You know what? I haven't pumped oxygen yet, and I intend on doing some stuff underwater, although I, I think this might increase movement speed. I don't really know. I, I'm scared to put it in anything that won't do. I'm already sorry that I actually put a point into crafting speed. I'm going to go ahead and put it in health. I know I won't regret a health point. So that should be good. And we're going to continue with, um, with I'm guessing, melee on this guy. Or damage. However you want to look at it. Oh. Uh, so, gray berries and spore shrooms are the two things that I've been gathering a little bit. I'm trying to experiment with some different looks of plants for a pathway uh, around uh, the base. That's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of decorating and, and possibly a little bit of building. Okay, we just got some more gray seeds. I think I have quite a few gray seeds already. Uh, seeds. Oh, seeds are in my hotbar, actually. We have seven, which isn't fantastic, but it's a good start. I actually have only one planted at the house right now. I will go... There's a reaper right there. I will go get this purple drop. And a couple of these plants. And I think I'll be good after that. Let's see. Uh, wait up. Also, the spore shrooms I thought were really neat. Because the spore shrooms have a slowing effect. Um, so, for Argents and stuff, I think they would work pretty good together for base defense. Um, around the house. Along with... Will you get your beak out of my way, man? Sheesh! Oh my gosh. I just wanna... I just... I just... Okay. This is... You know what? You know what, Quetzal? Why? <sighs> Boy, you have some great things about you, and you have some not-so-great things about you, and that's one of the not-so-great things. Just to let you know, your big old head. God, man. Can't do nothing with your big old... Big old head uh, in the way of everything. Okay, I need like probably a couple more plants before I get these. Only yield normal berries, by the way, like normal, well, magic stuff. But all right, I don't want to have to go down in the pit because that's where that Reaper was. It's Soul Reaper, whatever you want to call them. More berries. Come on, just another couple seeds, and I'll be happy. That's berries. There's the soul reaper over there. Maybe I can go down in the pit real quick. Eek. I've been trying to see if there's orange berries too. Orange berry seeds. I have some around my house. I do want to check them. And I need to get fertilizer online today because I want to do those crop plots and stuff. Also, I might need to plant this stuff in soul sand. So I might need to grab a little bit while I'm here. There we go. Gray seeds. Believe it or not, I'm happy, y'all. All right. Soul sand coming right up. I don't know what I'll need. I know I need a little... Well, I already have some cursed soil at the house. But I'll grab a little bit more for good measure. And that Reaper is coming a little bit too close for me. I love the gray look of this stuff. Because I'm about to start messing with pathing, as I just mentioned. And I think it's going to be great. Anyway, uh, we can always come back for some more if we do like the look of it. Uh, <laughs> I think John typed that. Hello, when he was looking for uh, when he was looking for gray berries. Let's head back to the east 
and uh, and play around a little bit with orange berries and the path. So if you are curious about orange berries, you find them in the golden biome. I don't know if I showed this before on video or stream, but I definitely have talked about it before. Let's see. Hopefully, I've I've yet to be able to get orange berry seeds from these things. This is an orange berry plant right here. Orange berries. It might just be like the grays, like really hard to get. So, I finally got orange berry seeds. So it's a thing. They are extremely rare. <laughs> uh, I was probably did about 10. Okay, well, now that we got orange berries and we can see how they look, I want to go ahead and tame a couple Fiomias so that I can do the Fiomia hut for some fertilizer and maybe even a dung beetle, huh? Fiomias were easy sauce. Like, three truffles a piece and they were done. These, I believe you have to knock them out. It's not like regular orc where you could just sneak up behind them, I don't think. I don't think they're passive tames. Uh, also, or they... Oh, what did I do? I ate a truffle. Dang it, Bobby. Dung beetle is not considered magical. He's considered normal. Uh, so... Regular old sleep arrows. And a miss. It's not as easy as you would think aiming from Quetzal back when he moves like he does. God dang it, Quetzal. I think I'm going to name you Fidget. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let me get down from my Quetzal. You down? Good. Good. Uh, now the score. Oh, I got another one. Well, I might as well, right? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, baby. No, no. Don't do it. Oh, there's dung beetles everywhere now. Come back here! I've picked up plenty of poop from those Fiomias, too. Ah, uh, we'll get you. Oh, where, where you, you stuck now, huh? I'm gonna waste all my arrows on these guys. I just hit my Quetzal. Unconscious. Good. All right. <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit unorthodox, but look my poor Quetzal. I am going to call you Fidget. That's going to be your new name. Change name. Fidget. I think it's E.T., but who cares? Fidget it is. All right, Fidget. Oh! Hey! Hey! Oh, no, you don't. You're not just going to come and bite my ankles and get away with it, bruh. Can't believe. Oh, is he down? No, not quite. Oh, now he's down. <laughs> Home stretch, you guys. This is the last dung beetle I was taming. He should be eating any minute now. If Fidget would move his face. Is there a scorpion trying to kill us? No, I think it's fighting with the anklo up there. There we go. Grab this dung beetle. If I can get close enough to him. Yeah. Convert to picks. All right, Fidget. Let's get out of here. Well, there's the Fihomia hut, guys. It's enormous, right? <laughs> like, it's so big. But uh, it'll do. It'll do. The recipe was pretty simple. A few clay ceilings and some stone floors. And there you have it. Uh, so it works just kind of like the oil slime incubator. Let's go ahead and throw out the Fiomias here. Um, okay, one of them just landed on top of each other. Capture Fiomia. Okay, there's one. And we'll put the other one. Why do I still see it? That's so weird. That's creepy. Okay. And... Capture Fiomia. Okay. So, we got Fiomias in the pin. Um, now, 
used to catch the Fiomia, put in materials, used to get product to get fertilizer. The more dinos you have, the better. Okay, so we can make, we could do a ton of it, but we need to get a little bit more, um, we need to get a little bit more dung. And I think you could use stem berries on this guy, so bear with me. I might need to pull one out. In Ark, you can do it, and it was great. Uh, let's see. Maybe in the icebox? I'm still disorganized after that fiasco. Yeah, I got plenty of stem berries. We're probably going to need some regular stem berries to give them two. I mean, some regular berries to give them two so they don't starve. Uh, let's see. Release Fiomia. There we go. All right, let's see what you got. Can we just remote use? Is it is it making poo? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, it made some poo. <laughs> Look all of the poo. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's do some more, huh? We might as well just use it all. How about auto click and auto click? Oh my gosh. The poop is everywhere. Let's go ahead and put you back in the Fiomia pit. And we'll just go pick up all the the poop. Sheesh. That's a lot, man. Alright. So, the question is, do we just use... What do we use in here? Do we use berries? I don't know. I don't want to use those orange berries or whatever. Let's just see if we can put the Tinto berries in. No. Fuel, I'm guessing, takes literally fuel. I don't have any regular wood to use. I do have thatch. Produce egg. Cancel production. Okay, remaining time. 37 minutes, 56 seconds. So I'm guessing that they're going to do the wild thing in here. <laughs> I'll make fertilizer. I'm not sure. Okay, as far as all the dung that I got, um, we can go in here and we can put a few in. Okay, and enable wandering. And it'll probably take a little while for these guys to produce. Uh-oh. That's no, okay. It's okay. And last but not least. Beautiful. Okay, so. Uh, convert, uh, enable wandering. And enable wandering. And you guys should all be good. Why are y'all aggressive as well? Passive, man. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we'll just make you stop following. Beautiful. Okay, so we should be able to get fertilizer from that. Now, let's take a look at the plants and stuff. I planted an orange berry, a gray berry. And uh, the orange berry is not grown yet. But it looks like it has the same model. I was hoping that it would have that cool model. Um, that I got from there, but this is a cool plant that I found uh, early. It's aeolian grass, so we can go ahead and harvest it Let's see oh, I still had a, um, a poop lift. Okay, so we got aeolian grass now It doesn't give you any seeds or extra that I noticed right? Let's see grass but you can plant it and it's a oh did I just eat it oh apparently it is so you have to get a seed from it well rip <laughs> I'll have to get some more dang it yeah it's a seed and it didn't give me the seed back so well well there's the orange berry it just grew right in front of our eyes it did give us seeds as well and so did the gray berry. So we can we can kind of produce these over and over again, which is which is nice. Um, let's see. There we go. Uh, it has to be planted in this weird soil here, this cursed soil block for the gray berries. Uh, but the orange ones can go in that. So I did get a few different types of plants, like I was saying, and I want to look at possibly doing some up there with the, the seeds and the fertilizer. I'm going to have to get some fertilizer, but I ran plumbing. So I went all the way down 
to like the bottom level and into the water down here, came up and I ran this underneath, under here, as you can see the pipe and all the way around. Here we go. So I ran it all the way around, even through the back here. I just marked the corners just so I'd know. And I had to put some metal water taps because for some reason I thought the stone taps were 7x7 seven seven and they're only 3x3. Three three. But the metal taps are 6x6 six six, so I, I had to put a couple metal taps. But here we are. It says that, that they're both irrigated. So we could put plants in here which is really, really good uh, to know. As far as the regular crops go, these are going to be... Uh, fertilized so we can do any kind of berries in here that we want or any kind of plants and I was thinking that aeolian grass would be really cool um, but I don't know the magic berries are a little bit different too I think they would look okay but to tell you the truth <clears throat> I really don't don't think it matters exactly what I plant um, I think I'm just gonna do a few berry bushes and we should be good they won't be for harvesting or anything but uh, they'll be okay uh, let's see seeds we're probably gonna just do I don't know what color do you guys think would be good I want something that offsets azul berries are really really nice so I might just do azul berries let's go grab some azul berry seeds uh, what do I have currently planted I have the yellow berries uh, let's see there we go azul berry seeds or azul however you want to say it Beautiful. Okay. So these should be able to plant correctly. And it, I think it's going to look pretty darn good. So they're growing. Good. I think it's going to look pretty darn good with a little bit of uh, of greenery. I really wish you could do grass blocks and stuff. Why can I not plant on that? Is it like a ghost thing? Or... Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to double check to see what's going on there. They all plant right here and the other ones. That's weird. So as far as the path block, now that I have access to electricity, I'm actually going to try to run some lights and stuff too. But in order to make the path, I don't know what I'm going to do. Is it snowing now? The weather is so crazy, man. Okay, let's uh, let's just put on my coat and my gloves and my hat. There we go. All right. I know, Squishy. It's always snowing or something over here. Anyway, uh, so the path, I'd like to get a path that goes somewhere around right here. A little winding path that leads kind of toward the magic biome there. And I'd also like to make it loop around. I'm going to have to even some of this stuff out. But I'd like to make it loop around and go towards that back portal because that's what leads to Slipgator's base and he has a really really nice setup with his portal I'm gonna just pop through here and show you guys what he's done and I love that idea it's a little bit far away from my base but I figure an accompanying portal would be nice and here we are so he's got like a little water feature there and it's totally surrounded by marble and stone and he's got his pathway all the way up to his base. So, it looks pretty darn good, I think. Alright, let's check on our little buddies. Wow. See if they got any fertilizer. Oh, yeah. Fertilizer. Four of them. Okay, good. What about our little buddies down here? Um, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Huh. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, are you going to let me out? Thank you. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of fertilizer. That's at least enough to start the plants. All right, so I dug my path around the layout that I wanted at least. I didn't plan it, and I'm going to use these blocks right here. This is scorched earth that you get from the doom plains or the doom biome, 
And my little uh, azul berries are planted and grown, and I think it looks cool. I'd like to accent it with something around here, but space is a little bit limited, so I don't really know. I might just do some rails in between or something like that. At any rate, I want to get the path done, but I have a few fertilizer. The Fiomias made four fertilizer altogether. So we're going to use that in these, and we're going to try a couple different plants here. Let's go with two fertilizers. each and we're gonna put a spore shroom in this one and we're going to put a trappa in this one hopefully it takes it remove trappa seed all right there we go so we have those growing now and I'd like to see what they do for the argents around here it might be interesting anyway let's worry about this path block now so I have it come and winding all the way around here and I'm going to do some sort of border, too. So let's go ahead and eliminate these. And we can just start in the middle. Uh, so let's see. I keep hearing that flapping. It makes me crazy. Okay, so we're just going to go in the middle just like this. I like how it alternates just a little bit as well. Okay, now to, to make things wind on a corner like this is a little bit hard to replicate. But it should be all right. I really wish you had a few different texture options. And you can set them because I can add a lot of variety to this. Okay, so for taking the corner right here, it's a little bit different. Then we have to turn. Just like this. All right. And we're going to lay this path all the way down. The, the, the second, third, and fourth tiles until we get to the end. And I'm going to try a few things to border this with as well. So I decided to go with regular old stone floors to kind of complement what I already had going. And I got to say, I really like the look of the path right now. Like... It's just a nice little walkway. <laughs> it it does a pretty good deal. The um, the, it makes it look like regular old soil, you know, uh, because the 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 dirt color is so light. Having the Doom Plane stuff in here really adds like a walking path, kind of like kind of like Podzol was in Minecraft. I don't know if you guys ever messed around with that, but. Um, the path is really good, and I, honestly, I think I do want to, um, I think I do want to separate this. There we go, and let's put this back, and then we'll do our fine stone floors, or foundations. There we go, we have a few of them. Yeah, because it just, it didn't have any room to stop here. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I want to come back around and actually like buff up these corners or whatever. Because what's going to happen is if I end up wanting to do a rail, for instance. So let's, let's just hammer this out really quick. Walls. Uh, craft, actually. Walls. Uh, oh, I don't have any stone on me. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> all right. So if I don't if I don't have a joint right here, when I go to connect rails, it's going to have some of the rail on dirt, which I don't want at all. Um, so I'm thinking around these corners here, I'm gonna need to put an extra stone. So let's try this and just see what it looks like. It's just good. basically at every joint, it's gonna have one more stone to where it just doesn't look like a jagged corner like that it's gonna look a little bit more sophisticated I think I think I stress think and right here right here and right here natural I didn't finish the path all the way down uh, but I wanted to see how this looked and play around with the design a little bit and see how that goes all right, so, yeah, I think that is going to work a lot better, honestly. And for the final addition to the detail, I suppose, I wanted to do 
some fence. So I think like a white picket fence would look really good. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to do. There's there's no real post, right? I, I suppose I could start it or just do them on the corners. Like, um, I don't know, maybe even a column or something. Uh, but I don't think they'll join correctly if I do like a column. I might just need a block, which is fine with me too. Uh, let's just try to mess around with a few of the... Um, Oh, it's probably going to be a lot faster if I just do this, right? Just like this. That way it's joined up on all the corners. And how about this? Kind of the same thing here. Uh, now we got to go different. Okay. See, these, this might be a good area for a few posts, to tell you the truth. I'll, I don't know, I'll come back and look at it in just a second. See, like, when the corner's like that, we could probably do just, like, a little block instead of the weird diagonal thing going on. And it would probably look good. Being that it's a winding path, you know, the detail is a little bit different than just normal. There we go. And all the way. Oh, it looks like my trap has grown. He's all the way trapper. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. There. And when I put the straight ones in, it's really going to show whether or not it works out well or not. I think that's all of them. Okay, let's do some straight ones now. And then we might delete a few of them and come back with posts. I looked at the stone fence and it wasn't... I think it would be better. Oh, oh, I missed. I missed one right here. Um, I think it would be better as an accent to like plants or something like that. It it it's not like it's not b good in the build. It's the the border's already gray, so I wanted a, a third color. I like to mix up my colors a little bit, as long as it's all neutral, you know, or a, just a decent contrast would be okay too. Okay. I wonder what going too high would look like. Let's just try it on the end. That That's probably way too tall. Okay. Hopefully I have enough of this stuff. <laughs> Let's see. It's not like it's... Not like it's real expensive to make. Actually, it's really easy to make. The only thing I don't like about this stuff is... It, the, the hit points are really, really low on it. Like one Argent hit... Not that people will be fighting the origins on this pathway that much. Uh, I do want to kind of enclose this whole area too. That was my original plan. So that I don't have to do anything crazy when it comes to uh, to guarding my base, you know? Okay, let's see. Do I have some more? Yeah. Not much though. Okay, can I create more? Yes, I can. Okay, we probably just need to make like, I don't know, 30, 40 more fence. Yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just go with 93. It's fine. I ain't got nothing else to do with all this wood.
I think it looks awesome. I really do. I don't think we need the posts after all. I was thinking that the post would make a really good, like, you know, just to block every once in a while would do. But you know what? I think it would be better if we ran lights all around. I'm probably going to dig a pathway down in here so I can run uh, electricity. But it's going to take me a little while to get to where I have enough wire and stuff. I need to really look into that. I don't know how many electronics I'll need uh, for junction boxes and stuff, but I definitely need to go finding some sharp crystal and stuff. Um, we're probably going to do that next episode. Let's take a look at the trapper and see if it's working correctly. There's a dragon like right here. Okay, so you could put it to sleep. Is this one done yet? No. Next stage is in like, wow. This is going to take a while. You still got plenty of fertilizer though, so we'll be fine. Trapper grew a lot faster. So we have change to all targets, change targeting to only player or tamed creature, change to targeting only players, to only wild creatures. I like that. Um, so what can we lure over here? We need an Argent, man. There's an Argent. Uh, let's see. Wand. I need to put Essence in it. I have one Thunder Magic Essence. One Earth. Let's do a Water. See if I can get close enough to it to hit it. Oh, he sees me anyway. Eek. All right. My trap hit it a few times. Wow, really? The trap only hit it like a couple times, I think. <laughs> we might need a little bit more than that. <laughs> Sheesh, man. That's rough. Yeah, Squishy. I think uh, I think we might need some more than that. Did it take any fertilizer? No. I don't know. These guys might not be too strong against wild. I don't know. But at any rate, it was cool checking it out. Let's have a little bit of a meal. And I think we are finished up for today. I might play around with a little bit more fencing and stuff up there. But... We're probably going to go look for sharp crystal and stuff, guys, next time we come back. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.